All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create unweighted effects codes uh, to use in a regression analysis. Unweighted effects codes basically compare uh, a given uh, level of a polytomous or multi-category uh, categorical variable uh, to the grand mean uh, for uh, that variable rather than comparing it to the reference group. So we'll use um, religion, uh, which in this example has four levels. And this is pretty similar to what we did with um, with the dummy coding. If you watch the dummy coding video, the main difference is instead of having a reference group that each category is compared to, uh, we'll have what I'll call the base group which will code instead of all zeros, will code as negative one. And we're still going to have uh, j minus one, so j being the number of categories. Since there's four religions in this example, we're going to have three uh, codes, uh, effects codes, to represent them. So the first effects code will compare uh, Jewish people to the grand mean for whatever the, the criterion or dependent variable is. The second will the, we'll compare Muslims to the grand mean. And the third will compare atheists to the grand mean. Uh, we will not get a comparison of Christians to the grand mean, but if we wanted that, we would. Uh, there's formulas that exist, but usually it's just better to just uh, recreate, or easier to just recreate the codes uh, so that we have a different, uh, what I'll call base group, uh, so that way you can get the comparisons of uh, Christian, or comparison of Christians to the grand mean. So basically what we're going to do now is create these codes in the SPSS data file. Alright, so to do so, we're going to go as we did previously to transform, uh, recode into different variables. I'm going to reset what, we, what uh, we did in the dummy coding video. Uh, and we're going to recode religion into uh, the first category is Jewish, so we'll put effects Jewish, which will basically compares Jewish to unweighted grand mean. By unweighted we mean each group counts um, equally um, and, and they don't count in proportion to to their their sample size in the overall sample. Alright, so Jewish people are coded as one. They will remain as one. Uh, we will click add. But our last group, which is um, Christians, will be coded as negative one and then everyone else is going to be a zero right? because that's how it is in our coding scheme here right for Jewish people Jewish are one Muslims and atheists are zero and Christians are negative one alright so we click continue and we click OK and we have uh, effects code an effects code for Jewish people now we're going to do the same thing for uh, Muslims, so we're going to transform, recode into different variables, and we will reset this, and we will put religion back in the box, and this will be called effects Muslim, and this is going to compare compares Muslim to grand mean. I'm just putting that so to clarify what, what's actually going on. And so Muslims are two in this data set, and they will become one for this dummy code. And then Christians are four, and they will be negative one, and then everybody else will be zero. We click add, continue, and then OK. So now we have our two of our effects codes. We just have one more to create. And that is for atheists, which are number three. So we go transform, recode into different variables. And just starting from the beginning, we'll put religion. And this will be effects. Oops, I know how to type effects. Uh, this is uh, atheists. And compares atheists to grand mean for whatever the criterion is 
and now atheists were coded as three. So threes become ones. And remember, fours remain as negative one. Oh, negative one. And then everybody else becomes zero. I'll click continue and OK. And now we have our three dummy codes uh, where for Jewish, uh, they are coded as one and Christians are coded as negative one. Everyone else is zero. For, for the dummy code for Muslims, Muslims are coded as one. Christians are coded as negative one. Everyone else is zero. And for atheists, atheists are coded as one. Christians are coded as negative one and everyone else is zero. So let's say we wanted to run the regression analysis. We go to analyze, regression, linear. And I'm just going to reset. We're going to leave satisfaction with life as a dependent variable. And we're going to put, let's put in the first step, uh, let's just put um, wealth. And then in the next block, we'll put our three dummy codes. Or I should say effects codes, or three effects codes uh, in the next block. And we want to make sure that we, since we're testing, we want to test the total effect of religion above and beyond wealth. We're going to ask for the change in R squared. Click continue and OK. And we will have an output file that will open up. All right, the first model just simply is, is a simple regression with one predictor. In this example, we're predicting about 20% of the variance in satisfaction with life. Uh, with wealth, and that prediction is uh, indeed statistically significant. Uh, and then for the second step, or the second block in the hierarchical or sequential regression, we're adding uh, the uh, religion variable, which we see brings us up to about 36%, which is a change in R squared of about 15%. And the p-value is 0 0.02, so it's reasonably low. So we're going to say religion predicts satisfaction with life. One's religion predicts satisfaction with, with life above and beyond uh, the wealth predictor. Uh, looking at the um, actual uh, coefficients, uh, now we're comparing each condition to the grand mean. So we see comparing Jewish people to the grand mean, we really don't have a statistically significant difference. Uh, they seem to be slightly lower, but it's not uh, substantially lower or, sig or statistically significantly lower. P-value is too high to, to reject the null there. Uh, Muslims also really not, they have slightly higher than the grand mean satisfaction with life, but we're not going to be confident in saying that because the P-value is a bit too high at point, roughly 0 0.11. Uh, comparing atheists to the grand mean, we see that they do have significantly lower satisfaction with life uh, as compared to the grand mean and also while controlling for wealth uh, than, than do the, the um, as compared to the grand mean. Uh, so basically that's how you would create effects coding. Uh, so what does the constant mean in this equation? The constant, uh, it would make more sense actually if we didn't have wealth in the equation because this is uh, the predicted value of satisfaction with life if your um, wealth was zero and your uh, and at the, the 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 grand mean of all of the um, of all of the religions, so that, so if we had taken wealth out of the equation, uh, it would actually be the grand mean of uh, if you took the average of all the means for religions, or at least the estimated value of of the grand mean. Uh, so in any case, that is um, how you would accomplish effects coding uh, in a regression analysis. Uh, if for, if uh, you wanted the comparison, let's say, f of Christians to the grand mean, which you very, very well may want, you could just redo the coding scheme so that another group was the um, group that was coded as uh, the base group or the group with all the negative ones, and then you could easily get the comparison of Christians to the grand mean. But we do get the overall effect of religion by including all of the J minus one dummy codes into the analysis. Right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did.